Hello, it's Magic Monday live with Michael Hebel, live from Northumberland. I'm here today, definitely on time, 12 o'clock, midday, not like last week where I was blagging, walking around a farm instead, learning about how brilliant things are created and about the joy of what they do with Simon Rogan's farm and Long Clume and all that stuff. No, I'm here, which means you're looking for content. You're looking for something to be particularly good today. I know you are. I don't blame you. So we'll get ready and we'll start and I will share with you why writing a book works. Now, even if you've never thought about it, I'll turn that down a bit. Even if you thought, you know what, Michael, I have no interest at all in writing a book. Let me tell you why I think you should just consider for a moment the idea of writing your own book because it is magical. It is brilliant. It is phenomenal. And here's why. All right, let me just stop that tune there. And instead, should we play this one? Here we go. It's the start of the week. Grab your coffee cups. It's Magic Monday Live. <laughs> I don't always remember to play that, and I should, because it is absolutely fabulous, isn't it? I love that little tune. So, yes, um, please let me know where you're watching from. Always nice. We will check in with everybody in a moment, and we will, um, you know, talk a little bit about um, about what we're doing and, um, you know, send me your messages, anything at all. But here's what I want to talk about today, why writing a book works. So in two weeks' time, two weeks today, I will be launching another Write That Book pop-up group and challenge, and it's five days. And if you've if you think, Michael, oh, really, I don't want to know anything at all about writing books and anything about that, just don't watch me for the next two weeks. I'm going to talk about it all the time, all the time. And the reason why is because the number of people who hadn't thought about writing a book and now have, and it's had a big impact on their lives, is huge. I'm going to give you a couple of examples. So look at this. Isn't that a great title for a book, by the way? Stratnav. By Richard Perry. This is this is just when he told me the title that he thought about for his book, it was brilliant. But then when I went back and I had a little look, initially Richard wasn't going to write a book. It wasn't going to be his thing. It was like, oh, I, I do my coaching, I do my other stuff. How much if I'm going to write a book? And then he came up with the idea. Then he came up with the concept. And then he produced the book. And then people are buying this book. Um, I think Lucas um, Vigilante bought 20 copies on the first day to give out to clients. I mean, isn't that so good? Your name on the front of a book forever. Somebody else. Look at this one here. Fueled, fit, and fired up. David Rogers. So David's passionate about health and energy and well-being and about great food and about looking after yourself. And, you know, he thought, oh, I'll, just, I'll join the pop-up. I'll have a little look. So he had a little look at the pop-up group. Next thing, what's he doing? Writing and publishing his book. And it's fab. It's really great. I was just, before we started, I was having a little look through again. And there was um, stuff in here about, you know, why intermittent fasting works and about, you know, nutrition and, uh, but like really good stuff. Not like the, oh, you can only ever eat one green thing on a Monday at half past two and that's what you have to do. It's like proper, practical, great stuff. And, um, and he's published his book and it's brilliant. And then this one. I have to talk about this. This was a big surprise for me because Jill Morris, we met Jill. Um, well, I've known Jill for a long time, but kind of reconnected with Jill when she booked us to do an event with the company that she was working for. And she stayed in touch and she gets my newsletters and stuff like that. And she joined the pop-up group and was, you know, quite interested and you know had a few ideas. And then she pitched this idea for a book. And gave the kind of the intro to it, you know, like the pitch, the pitch document. Um, uh, and the promise is what we normally call it, by the way. It's the promise for the book. And I was like, oh, wow, this is something a bit special. This is great. I love the idea of this. And then Jill worked really, really hard. I mean, she did everything that I suggested, that whole thing. And then in August, she 
published her book. Now, look at it. I mean, it's a proper thick book. And I finished reading it last night. So last night I finished reading it. Um, I, I have piles of books to read, <laughs> as you can imagine, doing this. I've got loads of books that I'll read. However, this one, right, I, I was really excited about. There is a part in this book that is so flipping gripping. It is so gripping. I was, I'm going to tell if anybody's read it, it's the bit about what happens in the cellar. That's all I'm going to say. You have to buy the book and find out what happens. But I was watching, uh, sorry, reading this, and I was watching, um, you know, Christine reading her book, and she's all like this, all nice and gentle. And I'm like this, reading my, I meant to be a gentle read before I go to sleep. And uh, she's like, I'm going off to bed now. I'm going to sleep now, sweetheart. And normally what happens, of course, is that if Christine says, I go, yeah, me too. I couldn't, I couldn't put it down. I had to absolutely, you know what's happening? You really must know what happens. I thought I cannot go off to sleep. Anyway, I read through until about half 12. That was one night last week, just to get through all the stuff that was happening in the cellar. <laughs> and then um, and then I finished it yesterday, finished it last night. And it's brilliant. And it's so good. And Jill should be so proud about what she's done. It's absolutely fantastic. And the other thing is there's loads of people at different stages on this journey now. So some people you know, will write, publish, and sell their book, and they can do it in like 90 days. Other people, it takes a little bit longer. I worked with somebody um, as a write that book coaching client last, ooh, when was it, last sort of February, March time. And we really did some good work to help them to get their book into a position where they could pitch it, put it all together, that type of thing. And you know what? They they managed to get a, a deal with an, with an agent, first of all. And then the agent's been working hard with them over the summer. And then I received this text. So this is a text that I got on Friday. Look at that. Hi, Michael. We signed yesterday with John Murray Press, Two Roads Imprint. Um, hardback publishers in June 22. Thanks for the advice, the encouragement. Bigger, better, be brilliant. <clears throat> now, that makes my day. Of course it does. But imagine what it does for that person. I've just realized that actually I've, I've just got their name at the top, not, not their full name, because we can't announce it now because it's gone at that period. But it does sometimes before you publish where everybody has to be very, very quiet about it until it's all formed. And then they go out and they do the big loan. So I'm not allowed to say who it is just now. But how brilliant is that? Imagine getting a text like that. Imagine sending me a text like that. Um, and it's literally, as I said it, then my phone went beep. Wasn't another one. So I um, I want to encourage you to do the pop-up. That's what I want you to do. And it's very easy to get involved. All you've got to do is just go there, write that book.co.uk and just join the challenge, join the pop-up and have some fun for a week. Uh, it might be you get to the end of that particular week and you go, nah, not for me. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Of course it is. But you never know. It might just light something for you. And the next thing, boom, that's it. You've started to write and then eventually you publish and then sell your book, which would be really cool, wouldn't it? Uh, so that's going to be happening there. Writethatbook.co.uk. Should we have a look at who's here today? So um, <clears throat> howdy from Hove in bed. Oh, that's Sarah. Um, good afternoon, Mr. H. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Don't know who you are, but um, that's okay. By the way, if you ever want to do your thing so your name pops up, if you go to streamyard.com slash Facebook, it will say, can we use your name and image? And you say yes, and then it lets me do it. So morning from Sunny Stevenage, right in my book as I listen. Uh, what are the chances? There we go. And then it'll come up like this one. Victoria Wilson Crane, hello from Doncaster. And there's Roger Wilson Crane. Um, hello from Doncaster too. Now, Roger um, wrote a brilliant book called Certified, and I was writing newsletters on Saturday, and I asked him if I could use his book as an example for one of the newsletters that's going out. And he was thrilled. Of course he was. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Might. I'm, I'm very happy to help anything at all. So I'm also going to be interviewing him as an alumni of Write That Book for the next Masterclass series that's going to be happening. Exciting, eh? 
Hi from Taunton, sat here in my Write That Book t-shirt, catching up with my Write That Book course and writing. Everybody's doing this. Everybody's doing Write That Book. Come on. Bonjour from sunny for now, Wheatley, Three Mile Dog Walk. Found free cooking apples and back for Heppel Live. Well, you can't get better than that, Casey. That's what's known as a great day. Um, hello, everyone. Steve here. Optimistic October. Yes, I love that idea of optimistic. And there's a bunch of people doing that. Some people are doing Stoptober, which is great. I'm stopping telling people how busy I am because nobody cares. And there's no point in wearing it like some kind of strange badge. So we've been doing stuff in Team 17 about, you know, you know, what do you do and how do you communicate and how you say stuff. And I, I was doing that. I was doing it, but I am no longer doing it. Um, so there we go. Ah, love Stratnav. There's Ashley. Yes, Stratnav. Start Nav. Love Start Nav. Right. Okay. How are you today? Um, I said I do you know I've done this twice now. I think once before when Ashley came on, I said Ashley in Leeds. No, it's Ashley Leeds. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. Lee. <laughs> I apologize. Ash Lee Leeds. <laughs> Ashley Leeds. <laughs> I, bet, I bet I'm not the first person to do it. Right. Here's Samantha in Surrey saying hi. And there's Sally in Colchester. Brilliant. Oh, submitting my first ever piece of writing to a contest. This was a jump out of my comfort zone. Uh, waiting for October the 31st to hear any results. <gasps> Tasman Murray, the author of The Weather Weaver, which is a superb book, is one of the judges. Get in. Um, hi from Jane and Devon. Just signed a publishing contract. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got something for you. Here we go. Congratulations. Yes. That is brilliant, Jim. What a great feeling, eh? What a great feeling. Congratulations, yes. Um, oh, no, StreamYard, no, you're there. You're there. Um, good afternoon, Mr. It's good to see you. Second time. Lucky StreamYard. Well, yes, you are lucky. Now, here's another person who... Did what it said on the tin, and he wrote his book. So Dean, his book's going to be featured in a, um, a newsletter a little bit later on as well. Brilliant book called Thrive, about how to make sure that your life isn't just one of ticking along, how you absolutely thrive and feel energized and, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, everything. Oh, okay. Hello, just being asked to go on Radio Guernsey tomorrow. Hannah Powell. Here's another person who's just published their book. So Hannah has um, just written and published The Cactus Surgeon. Mine still isn't here, Hannah. This is this is devastating for me. Other people, I think I was the first person to order the book as soon as you said that they were available for pre-order, and mine still isn't here. <sighs> um, however, I'm being patient. I'm not. I want it. I want Hannah's book as soon as possible. Um, hi from Macclesfield, outside the COVID testing center, waiting for my granddaughter and daughter. Oh my goodness, good luck with everything there. There's Mange. Hello, M Mr. Michael Brilliant Heppel. <laughs> Parked up on the motorway between Stirling and Perth as we broke down last night. Hope to be home this afternoon. Man, so Mange was on Team 17 last night and she said, I might be able to go into the breakout group. I'll put my video on because we're on the road and you broke down. Oh, Mange, that is terrible. Hi, everyone. Matt here from the Land of Smiles. Hello from the Land of Smiles. Great to see you, Matt. Um, finished the 1 million stab challenge for Diabetes UK on September 30th, the final day. It was a 1.2 million three month challenge. My goodness, isn't that brilliant? How awesome is that? Congratulations. Yes. Um, I blame your posty. <laughs> Do you know, I'm just, Hannah, I. Cannot wait to get your book. We all learned a lesson, didn't we? We learned a lot of lessons. Um, I'm going to use that example about the thing we talked about with Post in the next Write That Book because it's it's a great lesson for us all. The Cactus Surgeon is excellent reading. Um, reading a, is excellent reading a present. Sorry, there's Sally saying that. Oh, where's mine? Then um, loving Hannah's book. Everyone's loving Hannah's book. Man, it's brilliant. And here's Philippa. Namaste from the UK. Wow. Philippa. So Philippa normally lives in India, but she's back to renew her Indian visa. 
Wow, that's brilliant. Um, the post here is reading the book en route. I'm not, wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me at all. So look, writing a book, it's, it's a life-changing experience. An absolute life-changing experience. Hopefully next Monday, I'm going to be holding up my copy of The Cactus Surgeon along with some other books as well because I want to keep sharing the joy of this. My goal, some of you might know this, my goal is to help 1,000 people to write 1,000 books in 1,000 days. That's my goal. And see this shelf behind me, the one with the brilliant on? Right half of that now is people who've published and are selling their books. I reckon in about two months' time, it'll be that whole shelf. There's so many people who are coming through the process now who are going to be publishing this autumn. And then next year, I'm going to end up with this whole bookshelf behind me with people who've written, published, and sold their books with Write That Book. That's it. Um, ah, there's Ashley. I've just signed up, Michael. Brilliant, Ashley. I am thrilled about that. You are going to absolutely love it. Enjoy your Mondays, everybody. Have a brilliant week. If you get my emails, you will get emails about this. Write that book stuff. I'm not going to apologize for it. It's exciting. It's brilliant. It's free. It's a free thing. Did I tell you that? It's free. So join now. Write that book.co.uk. Sign up and I will see you there. Be brilliant, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>